Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his good friend, Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, Michael. Looking for some positive headlines. <laughs> well, let's just uh, let's just admit where we are, right? The mortgage news today, uh, I read uh, mortgage rates highest in 20 years at 7.22. Mortgage demand, purchase demand down 34%, uh, lowest since like 1997 or something like that. Yep, 20, 25 year low in demand, rates are high. Um, and, and I think that, uh, you know, if if you let that sentiment soak into you, you may maybe uh, you've already lost, but I, you, me and you both yeah. are talking to plenty of people who are, who are winning right now. No, I, I think that's really the key to this video is, is at least from an investor standpoint, and this includes house hacking. We or I, I'll say I, and then I'll let the audience decide if they agree or not. I don't care what the cost of capital is. It's one variable on one spreadsheet. And I know for certain I need to skill up, right? I'm We're entering a part of a cycle where I need to learn new things. And I'm going to do the work every day. That's just because how I roll. But there's going to be so much opportunity. Like not since 1981 or 82 has assumption of mortgages being something that we could all seriously think about, right? As I understand it, and I still have to learn, VA loans are relatively easy assumable. They're assumable loans. It's in the documents. I don't know how to do it yet, but I'm going to figure it out. FHA loans, as I understand it, are assumable, right? Commercial loans have been assumable, and I've assumed uh, at least one apartment loan before. So there are ways to get deals done. And then the the biggest one, and you've seen me on my channel talk about this, is seller financing. If you understand how you can get seller financing and work with a seller to take some of their equity in a loan, you can get a blended interest rate under 5% today. People, you just got to be creative. You got to do the work. You got to do the work every day. You got to understand the variables at your disposal. I'm talking, to, I'm sending out cards almost every day for people doing the work. And I know you're talking to people writing offers on great deals. So let's just, this just encourage people to do the work and, and stop watching fear porn. Right. Yeah. I mean, and I think that a lot of the conversations that I have um, talking through things, you might learn, I was thinking about that. Not a good idea. Thinking about this. Oh, it seems like something that might work. I might dig in and you're going to find answers, whether you buy today, next month, next year, the year after, like adding to your skill set is never going to hurt you. Right. And, and when you said house hack, I'm, I'm talking to a ton of people right now that are thinking about doing house hack, getting in contract, doing a house hack and winning, you know, a conversation I had at the gym last night, this guy was telling me, ah, might try to buy, I'm not sure. And, and we're going through the pros and the cons and, 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 and our market, his rent is going up on his two bedroom apartment that he rents by himself for $2,600 a month. And, and here's something for people to think about. They're thinking about house hacking, um, a, a one rental at a time student, a uh, great conversation where he was trying to get his payment to zero. In some markets, maybe you can't, right? But I can tell you, it's not going to be 2,600, right? Yeah. You, yeah. yeah you buy a three that's... bedroom house, maybe you have a, a $3,800 payment and you've got two roommates that pay a thousand bucks a piece. Um you know, and then yours is 1800, you know, that's like almost like a worst case scenario. Uh, but, but you sure as heck aren't going to be paying 2600, where zero goes to principal pay down zero, you know, is is applied towards uh, appreciation and the other benefits you get from owning the dang thing. Yeah, I want to tie this into an article. It's really a quote, Jeff Bezos this morning, at least I read it this morning, said it's time to batten down the hatches, right? Another billionaire, telling us bad times are coming. I think house hacking is the answer for most folks, whether it be roommates like Spencer Cornelia, I saw on his Instagram feed, he's buying another house in Vegas, good for him, or Todd Baldwin, who did this for a decade with his wife, uh, or units like, I mean, so many people. Anyways, they, I, there's a video that's coming out tomorrow at five o'clock uh, from somebody's on their eighth house hack. They went from having a, a, a $1,500 housing payment to zero to now with this eight, eighth house, his income is replaced. He's matching his income just with rental properties. And he's never done more than 5% down, conventional, because every year to 18 months, he moves. And he's he did roommates a couple of times, but now he does in like, I guess in, he's in Denver. So he does basements. I don't, they don't have basements in California, but 
you know, having a mother-in-law set up all of this. So house hacking is a huge benefit. I know you and I interviewed a one rental at a time student who's looking to house hack. Folks, house hacking is the answer. If you want to batten down the hatches, take your largest monthly expense and cut it in half. Cut it in three corners. Take it to zero. Shoot, get paid to live there. That's how you win. Yeah. And that's the thing too, is like, you know, when you look at those two, two things, you know, continuing to rent and, and buying a house and doing something like a house act. When you, when you buy the house, you buy it and today's interest rate is, is higher than you'd like. It's six and a half, six, seven, five, seven percent, depending on how you structure the deal. Doesn't matter. And you're getting $800 per room for two rooms or $900 per room. Here's the cool part, Mike, is that next year and the year after and the year after rents generally grow. So what you're receiving is going to increase. No guarantee that rates go down, but when they do, oh, you might be able to refinance and, and make your payment lower. So your situation is getting progressively better. Right. Or on the other side, like the guy I talked to at the gym last night, another $200 a month increase in rent. And then there next year, oh, they can raise it on me another $200. So you're going to get progressively worse or progressively better um, in these two scenarios. It's, it's hard to find a scenario where it makes sense to rent long-term. Me and you will yeah. both tell somebody, if you're going to move in nine months, don't go yeah. buy a place, right? Yeah. But if this is an area where you're going to live five, seven, 10 plus years, buying uh, makes a lot of sense. House hacking is, is, is really a cool way uh, to do it. House hacking is the right, it's the cheat code to wealth, income snowball. You don't even have to do it that many times. The person I interviewed this morning that will post tomorrow at five o'clock, he's done it eight times and, and replaces it. You do it two or three times, you know, it, it, that's just, that's just how you get rich, right? You allow, you take your basic expense to zero. You ultimately make it positive and you're winning. But let's flip the script to investors. Because again, I'm talking to investors all the time and I've admitted I need to skill up. We are heading into a time where selling a home is going to be more difficult, right? Because your buyers, at least in most cases, are going to get six, seven, eight percent interest. It's, it's just unaffordable, which means a lot of people are going to be stuck. If you don't want to be stuck as a seller and you have a lot of equity, I strongly suggest you offer up uh, some equity as a second, at least, if not the first, depending on your equity position. But this allows you to get your price. Trust me when I say I will pay list price for a property that I can get below market interest rate. That's the whole game. And if you know how to calculate the blended interest rate, uh, you know, the 50, 40, 10s, or, you know, a first with Matt, a, a seller second, is going to allow you to get a blended interest rate, certainly below six, probably below five, maybe even below four if you get a rate buy down in, in the first. So it's just about getting better. I have a lot to learn. Uh, love to assume some VA loans in, in Fresno, California, if anybody has one. It's just, it's just the way I want to grow, right? Get, get, go get the debt. The debt's an asset. Unlike last time where debt was toxic, uh, the debt's an asset. And I want to go get as much of that asset as I can. Yeah. You know, what's interesting about what you just said about being a seller and being creative. I walked through an open house and I have this on my desk here. Um, I thought it was genius. And I thought to myself, man, this guy is, is somebody who's seen a thing or two. Talk to the agent a little bit. She said, yeah. This guy's 70 years old, been in real estate for, you know, 45 years. He really does the flipping now as a passion project. He just enjoys it. He'll even do some tweaks for somebody who wants to buy it. Hey, you want to do this instead of that? And she says, and oh, by the way, if, if it doesn't have a traditional sale, here's some other options. She hands me this sheet, lease option possibility. So he's giving people, you know, a lease option at this price, a one year, a two year, you know, what the rent is going to be and then the credit towards a down payment. And um, oh, by the way, he owns the financing company who's going to help you, you know, improve your credit and you're going to have to use them for the financing uh, if you do this lease option and, and buy it. So it's stuff like this that just comes out in a market where, you know, creativity is forced upon people. The, yeah, the traditional ways of put something yeah. in the yard, it just sells automatically and somebody goes out. And, you know, my business has changed. I talked to my team and yeah. I said, it used to be, oh, my payment's this at a 2.75, 30-year fix. Cool. I'll let you know when I get into contract. Now, strategic and talking and partnering with the agent, trying to figure out how do we structure this deal so that, you know, 
it's a payment that that you can afford and that you're comfortable with and all that stuff. So it's it's different for all the players involved, the buyers, the agents, the mortgage professionals, everybody. No, I totally agree. Again, one, one of the things I got to remind folks, you know, a lot of people think 7% interest rate the market goes to zero. We still did 2 million homes in 1981 at 18%. Most of those were creative somehow, some way. Deals will get done. And it's not about pricing crash. In 1981, prices were up from 1980. They weren't up a lot, but they were up. And transactions were cut in half. And it's because of these creative uh, avenues. So if somebody wanted to reach out and really figure out how they can massage the various programs, how do they reach out to you? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. Me and my team will be in touch. I'm going to say this because, because I want people to um, trust in Matt, the mortgage guy and the brand. We've had a handful over the last month that fell through the cracks. I literally was on four or five hours worth of calls in the last five days. When you reach out to us, we are going to be responsive. We are going to make sure that you get best in class client experience. If for whatever reason, you don't hear from us, send me an email team at mtmg.com. I'll do some more screaming. I'll make sure that, you know, we're, we're getting back to you in a timely fashion. Awesome. I love that. What was that email? If somebody's uh, something fell through the cracks team T E A M at mtmg.com.